Welcome to another video of HTML, CSS and JavaScript. In this video, I'll be showing you how to create a contact form uh, where you will be able to input your password, your email, and then your message, and then finally to send your message to the user. Uh, so that means that we shall be having a button where we shall be telling our message to submit to the user we want. And now, without wasting much time, this is called Essentials KE, and uh, welcome to our YouTube channel. Now, let us create a div. So we say div, and we give it a class. Give it a class of login, login box. Then we close. Now inside this div, let us have an h1 that says that says this is this is a contact this is a contact form that way. Then uh, below that, let's create our form now. So we say form. And this form is going to take an action an action we can leave it that way but the method is post so we say the method post and then we close our form now inside this form i will just have a label so label and the label is the email so this is going to hold the label for email then under that we can have an input to the email so we say input input with the type of uh, input with the type of email then we have a placeholder placeholder and this placeholder the placeholder is going to have the a message that says enter enter your email that way then we continue with the name and the name is going to be email then we are going to make this required that way then we close our input so let us right click and open the server to see what is happening in the browser and as you can see our, our browser has opened port 5500 and now you can see our details here maybe i can zoom so that you guys can see now we have our h1 that says this is our contact form and we have the email with the placeholder that says enter your email so this is a place where we are going to enter our email as you can see it is working now let us go back to vs code and continue writing our code now the next thing uh we are going to say the label and uh, this label is going to say the password so we want to see our password but inside this password we are going to have an input an input and the input is going to have the, the type of the checkbox we also want the checkbox so that when we toggle the checkbox we confirm whether we can change from text or the password depending on what we want to see so we can say checkbox then the next one is on click so when we click on that checkbox we want to toggle the function so toggle 
this function that way and then the message then we close the input and then the message is show the password we can just say show show password All right show password then the next thing another input so you say input with the type of password of the type of password then the next thing is placeholder the placeholder that says enter your password right then you also need a name and the name is password then an id for styling id of type pass right then we also set to required we set to required then we close that way then the next one is the message so the label and this label is going to take the message that way under the message we need a text area so we say text area and uh, this text area we are going to give it some styles you can say font size font size um you can say font size 20 pixels like that okay then you have the color can have the color to can have the color to be can say black so hashtag zero 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 that's black then the font family you can say the font family and we want this to be times new roman this one so we say font family times new roman times sans serif right now let us open in our browser and see you can see we're having some error here but we shall correct that don't worry and then uh, after that you can have the name you can have the name and the name the name is going to be message message and then another thing is the id we need the id for styling and the id is message right then we also need the columns and the rows for our text area so you can say columns we want it to be 26 and then rows we want them to be four right then after that we can close our text area now let us see again what is happening in the browser if we refresh this now you can see we have our um, email, our placeholder, our password, and then the checkbox, 
and also we have the text area right now let us continue adding some other elements in our form right you can also say the input you can also include some elements here and say input the input type the type input type and we say hidden the next one is the name the name and we say underscore capture that way then the next one is value and the value is false you can set it to false then you can also add an, another element to say input to say input uh, type of submit and then the value for this so the value is going to be submit submit that way now let us see in the browser if there are any changes just reload this the button is here submit and our required fields as, fields as you can see it's saying please you cannot submit before you have filled those um, fields as you can see please fill out this field so it means that is that field is required the checkbox is there okay it seems everything is working fine now let us proceed to adding some javascript to our checkbox right now inside the script tag here we are going to type a function that says because we want to toggle we already call this function up here in our password can see checkbox on click toggle this function we already have our function so we are going to say function function then toggle that way uh, let us also declare a variable that say toggle equal to document dot get element by id and our id was type pass right and you also want to have an the if and else statements so you say if if toggle dot type is equal to password then we want it to execute this line of code toggle type to be text so this means that whenever we click okay by default the password is, is is in type password so it is not seen but we want to when we toggle that function we want to move from password to text so we want to see our password in terms of text uh, for example if we enter the password here as you can see the password is in dot format so that is the default it's just dot but we want to, when we click on show password we want to see our password there it's already showing now let us continue so we want to see that now else else we want to 
to do it. Toggle to type, and this is going to be equal to this is going to be equal to which the password. So if we toggle the function, the checkbox, we see the text. If we do not, then we see the password itself, which is in dot format, right? Then we include our semicolons that way. So this is all we need in JavaScript. We can proceed to adding CSS because we want our form to look nice, okay? Right now, if I add anything in the password, I can toggle the password to see what the password looks like. Okay. Now, everything is working fine. Let us proceed to VS Code and add some styles to our form. Now, immediately after the head tag, this way we are going to write our styles. So we say style style tag then we close then we start with our um, we start with our body okay before that we start with the all elements so we write star then we want this to have the font the font family we want the font family to be Area, comma, Helvetica, comma, sans serif. Let's delete this. Right? So this is what we want. Uh, let us reload and see what is happening. If there are any changes. Yeah, now you can see the font family has changed from Times New Roman to Arial Helvetica Sans Serif. Now let us proceed with our stylings. So we move on to body. And the body is going to have the background color. The background color of RGB RGB then we want 106 comma to 40 comma and 248 right that's all we need in our body the next one is the login box so that one is a class the login dash box and here we want the width to be 360 pixels the next is height the height is 575 pixels the next one is margin I'm going to say margin auto because we want everything at the center so margin auto let us see anything now you can see we have some changes now we continue with our styles and say background color so the background color of the box we want it to be rgb rgb then we say 251 comma uh, 253 comma then um, 253 right then we move on to border radius you can say border radius you can say 20 pixels right let us see if there are any changes now you can see we have some little changes here Everything is working fine. Now we proceed with the, uh, 
our stylings now we move on to login and the message the login and the message so we say dot login login box then we say our ID message then we set our border we set our border to one pixel you can say one pixel solid then gray right then we move on to border radius our border radius to six pixels okay the next is outline outline none don't want to have any outline and just see the changes it does reload okay it seems everything is working fine now we move on to h1 our h1 then you say text align text align center then padding padding top 15 pixels padding top 15 pixels the next one is the form now we move to the form itself then we say width and the width is 300 pixels so we say 300 pixels the next one is margin left 20 pixel so we say margin margin left then you say 20 pixel right so the next is the form labels so we move to the labels so we say form then label that way and we say display flex say display flex okay and the next one is margin top 20 pixel margin top 20 pixels the next one is font size font size you can say 18 pixels right let us see what is happening in the browser and you can see here everything is working fine yeah now we continue with the, the remaining styles we can move on to form inputs okay so you say form say form then input form input Form input and say with 100%. The width is 100%. Okay. And padding 7 pixels. Padding 7 pixels. The next one is border. Border. Not border radius border one pixel solid one pixel solid gray the next one is border radius now border radius and we say border radius you want to be you can say six pixels okay now let's move on to text area so you can say text area uh, resize you don't want to resize our text area resize before that let, us, let me show you what resize means resize you can see here we can resize our text area right 
now you don't want that you don't want to resize so i set resize resize then we say none okay now we move on to we add another a background so you say background background color background color to be white okay so we say background color white the next one is font style so font style you can say italics right you can say italics let us see you can see it is italics right okay everything is working fine now let us move on to the input type of submit so you can say input input and then uh, we say type input type input type then we say submit under under this we are going to write width let us give it a width of a width of 320 pixels that way then we move on to height 35 you can say height and we say 35 pixels right then margin top margin top is 20 pixels 20 pixels and the next one is border we don't want to have a border so we say border none right border is none let me delete this let's say border border none right the next one is background color so we say background color you can say for hashtag four nine four nine c one a two okay so that is our background color then we move on to color the color to be white the color to be white then font size font size we can say 18 pixels right the next one is cursor pointer now let us reload this in our browser now you can see Just check that italics then the submit button I see it says please include an heart please include an art symbol in the email address so the art is missing that means that we are doing the right thing and everything is working fine because you cannot have the Gmail without an art symbol that is what he's trying to tell us okay now we can proceed with uh, the remaining styles so we say input input with the type of submit we want when we over this so we say over want to have a background color a background color of RGB of RGB 
64,224,224. Alright. Now let us reload and see if this is working. You can see as we hover over the submit button, the color changes from this color to the next. Okay. And now if we try to enter something like ABC at gmail dot com then we say the password to be one two three four five six we can check to confirm and see one two three four five six we can write a message and say this is this is a new this is a new message All right then you can submit now you can see because you don't have uh, the internet it says the page isn't working right we can go back if you want if you want to add other elements in this form you can do so but for me this is just a short video that I wanted to show you how to create contact form with some little CSS and JavaScript. So thank you for watching. This is called Essentials KE and I will see you in the next video.